Hello and welcome back to this series of how to make videos which I hope will prove to be useful to teachers and teaching assistants in primary and middle schools. In this video I'm going to show you how to make some pan pipes. Um, I've been making my own very very simple musical instruments for many years and um, we, we made these last week in a science club here uh, with uh, year four. Um, I, I sometimes worry, oh I'm sure all teachers have made pan pipes before but I've been advised that um, not to worry about things being too simple that there'll always be somebody who hasn't done it. Um, a pan pipe is just um, a tube that's blocked at one end. You can make them out of plastic pipe, old felt tip pen bodies. Um, we're going to make them out of straws. Now I know what you're thinking, oh my god plastic straws. Uh, I'm in total agreement that we should stop using plastic straws due to pollution. Um, I, I do, I have used them a lot as you probably know if you've watched these videos. I, my main use for them is as bearings for axles. So I run a, a, a wooden dowel through them. Um, and once, once I've actually sold the remaining stocks of my plastic straws, yes I'm afraid I sell them as well, um, I will start using uh, paper straws which I'm, I'm sure will work um, just as well. Um, I have tried making pan pipes with paper straws. It does work. Um, but I, I've got to admit it works better with plastic straws. And also after a while the ends, if they're used a lot, will start to get soggy and quite frankly rather disgusting. So uh, I know it's controversial but I'm going to carry on and I'm going to use some plastic straws. At, at least we're not using them once. Um, I, these pan pipes uh, are at least 10 years old and they're still working. So that's my justification. Um, for pan pipe, the, the whole straw doesn't work very well. Um, you need to cut it down to about two thirds. And always remember which is the uncut end because that's a nice accurately um, flat end. So that's the end that you're going to blow across. And block the other end with your finger. It must be completely airtight. So push quite hard because the column of air as it enters when you blow in must travel down the tube, bounce off your finger, uh, move back up again. When it reaches the top it reaches more air that's constantly being blown in, bounces back up and down and it vibrates up and down. We call it resonating. It's a resonating air column and it actually vibrates or resonates hundreds of times a second and that vibration causes the tube to vibrate and the whole thing makes um, a musical sound. So let's just try this. Now in the science club the pupils did have some difficulty in actually getting a sound out of their pan pipes. It's not as simple as it looks. Um, they were just putting the whole thing in their mouth and blowing. Um, you have to put the top on your bottom lip. So imagine this is the side of my mouth. You put it on your bottom lip, bring your lips together and blow across, not down, across at a slight angle. Um, it takes a bit of practice. What I did many, many years ago is I took some straws home and spent an evening just getting the technique right. And once you've learned how to do it, I demonstrate how pan pipes work by gradually cutting more off. And the shorter the straw, the higher the frequency. And you can continue and get down to quite a surprisingly small length.
when you get to these small pieces you do have to blow a little bit harder. So all I'm doing is putting my finger on the ends to seal it and then blowing across the top. I think we can do one more where it just becomes too difficult to actually hold. So that's the principle of the pan pipes, making high and low frequency sounds. Um, but if you had um, a whole set of them, it's obviously going to be uh, too difficult to block all the ends with your fingers, so we need to block them up. Now, this one here, I, I've used sellotape, and incredibly, as I said, it must be 10 years old, it's still airtight. I'm astonished by that, and it still works. Um, I think it's a bit tricky to actually cover the end in sellotape, well certainly pupils will find it difficult. So the way I'm currently blocking them up is to use uh, blue tack. Now um, I'm not too worried about getting a musical scale but I find that if you start off with a piece 22 centimeters long and then go down and then get shorter in one centimeter steps it produces a, a reasonable scale. So you get a piece of blue tack, roll it between your fingers into sort of an egg shape, try and encourage the pupils not to use a ridiculously large piece and then push it up, I hope you're seeing this, into the tube fairly firmly because that's got to be airtight and check it's airtight by blowing into it and then use your other hand to feel any air that's escaping and of course you can soon test it by actually see if you can get a note out of it. Now I've got the other four that I've already made to spare you watching me block them up. Now you could just stick them all um, together uh, but I find it's, it makes it easier to play and also you get over the fact that the blue tack sticking out by using bits of straw as a spacer in between. So if you cut another straw in half and then in half again, hang on to the pieces because they tend to fly off, and then put the four pieces in between the actual pan pipes, like that. It's a little bit tricky. It's much easier in fact if you use pieces of wood but I wanted to keep this as simple as possible. And then you've got to get the, the actual pan pipes level at the top. Yes this is quite tricky to do. So can you see now we've got the spaces, that one's a little bit out, let's just push that down and push that down. That's going to be quite a challenge for pupils. Okay, I, I know it's not in the centre but I'm not going to disturb that now. And it's very important to make sure that you've got the blowing ends completely level to make it easy to play. We're now going to get some sellotape and very very carefully put one piece near the bottom, just wrap it round the end straw and another piece to make sure it's really firm. And there we go. And I think I've said before, sellotape on plastic lasts much, much longer than sellotape on paper and cardboard. So let's see if I can get this to work. Now, um, this, this problem with learning how to blow um, I want to try and show you this. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. I've only got a very simple camera here. I'm just going to move it up to the mirror. Warning, you may actually see my face if this works. So I'm just going to block the end with my thumb here. And I don't know if you can see, you put the end of the tube on your bottom lip. I hope you picked up that technique. So I hope you enjoy making your set of uh, pan pipes. Thanks for watching.